The Quick Access Toolbar in the upper left hand corner is called that because you can quickly access any command on it in a single click, as opposed to finding commands on the ribbon which may require two clicks. Like if I'm on the Home tab and I need to access a command on the insert, there's one click and then there's the second. So instead, stay on your favorite tab and add the more popular commands on the other tabs that you use frequently to the Quick Access Toolbar. And you can do that one of a couple of ways. You can either click on its corresponding drop down arrow and see a list of some of the more popular commands. And you can see the ones that are currently on the Quick Access Toolbar. They have a check mark next to it. So if I deselect it, it removes it. Click on the drop down arrow to check it, it adds it back in. Or click on the drop down arrow to see more commands. Opens up the Excel Options window. And in that window, you get the Quick Access Toolbar selected. Or you can access it by closing out and right clicking anywhere on the Quick Access Toolbar and going down to Customize Quick Access Toolbar, opens up the same window Excel options with the Quick Access Toolbar selected, or close out, go back Stage File, down to Options, again Excel Options, and then just come down here and select Quick Access Toolbar, and there you go. So there's many ways to access the Excel options here, and then you can see we're divided into two windows. We've got the popular commands over here, and then everything that's currently listed on the Quick Access Toolbar over to the right. So if I want to be able to add some commands from the popular to the Quick Access Toolbar, just go ahead and scroll through it, find one, select it, and then click Add. Or you can go ahead and double click to add it. And if you don't like it, select it and click Remove. Now over here, these are the popular commands. But if you want all the commands that are available because you don't see yours here, then click on the drop down arrow and go down to All Commands. Sorted numerically first and then alphabetically. So you can click and drag this and jump right to the P's. Like if you want to be able to insert a picture into your workbook, double click on it to add it over to the right, and there you go. Now when you click OK, you notice the order that picture will be at the end, right after font, which is right after the open folder. If you don't like that order, then select one and use the up and down arrows. So maybe the picture can be the first command with it being on the top, being at the far most left of the quick access toolbar to the bottom, which is to the right. Now, in addition to these commands, you have another that I want to show you. Scroll up to the top. It's called the separator. It's actually not a command that executes anything. It's just what it says. It separates your commands. If your commands are too close to one another and you find yourself clicking on one when you meant to click on the other because you're in a hurry and they're just so tight together, you can separate them or add these little lines or separators in between them to give you more space and or you can use them for grouping. Just like when you click and drag this down below. That you can see here that we've got this group. That line separates those commands for the clipboard from these commands from the font. So if you have a bunch of commands for the font up here that you added, like B for bold, I for italics up here, you can go ahead and add a line there that lets you know that this group is for a certain set of commands with another line for the next set of group for these commands. So it functions and or. Let's go ahead and take the separator here, double click, double click, add a few here. And then I can take the separator and move it down. So it's just, let's do it before the font. And then click OK and see what it looks like. There's the current font type, which you can see it here, but I added it up above. And there's the separator, the line. That separates or gives me a little bit of space in between the open folder command and the font type. And then you can see I get more space here. Or like I said, you can use it for grouping, saying, OK, in between these two lines, this whole group is for saving or opening a workbook. Another way to add commands to your Quick Access Toolbar is to find the command on the ribbon, like B for Bold, and right click on it, and you can add it. Click Add to Quick Access, and there it is. You can also add whole groups, like for the entire font group. Just find the blank area in the font group and right click, and add it to the Quick Access Toolbar. Now what you'll find is that when you add it, it chooses a command here to represent that group. So don't be fooled by looking at this going, oh, I just added this command, which is the font color, because when you click on it, it actually opens up the group. It just needs to choose a command, something to represent the entire group, and it happened to choose, or in this case, it will always choose the font color for the font group. So you can click on it to expand it and then execute whatever command you'd like. And then finally, to go ahead and remove all these commands from the Quick Access Toolbar, probably the simplest way, if it's just a few, is to go ahead and right click on it and say remove. And let's get rid of these commands. Whoops. That one I have to right click probably on the arrow to remove it. And the separator, and these other separators, and the insert picture picture. And we're back to where we started.